welcome to another video on power bi interview questions hope you're watching this series from beginning the next question which you may be asked is how can we generate series of odd number or even number so basically what you have to do is you have to generate a table basically which contains values like 1 3 5 9 11 or you have to generate a table which contains the values like 0 2 4 or 2 4 6 8 something like that now this is a really simple question but again this is targeted to check that how you do the implementation of the same function in a different manner means the usual function which we use for all these purposes is generate series this is function generate series which we typically use to create the series like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now this function can generate the numbers so basically you can say i want to generate number from 1 to 10 and uh, increment by how much so you can give how much increment you want so this is the function how do you use it basically generate series from 1 to 10 and increment by 2 so basically it's going to generate a odd number series and if you start it from 2 go till 10 it is going to generate an even number series now generate series is a function from dex so this is your dex code is ultimately going to return you a table so you will get a table from that now if you want to do the same thing in power query we do have a function list.number now list.number again can generate the series of numbers the query is going to return you the list and that list you can convert into a table so list.numbers again if you want an odd number start with one number of steps you want to calculate and then how much increment you want so what we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and look at these functions and try to understand how can we generate odd number series or even number series or tables which contain odd numbers or even numbers so let me jump onto the power bi and here in the power bi the first thing i'm going to do is i will go to the left hand side panes I have report view and table view. I'll go to the table view and inside the table view, I'll try to create new tables. And the best way to start creating a new table, click on a table which is already existing. You will get a table tool or you can go to the home tab also if required. And then you will get an option for new table. And once you get a new table option, you click on that. And let's create a table named as odd underscore series. And then after we given the name, let's come on the right hand side and use the function generate series. Start with the value 1. And the end value is 10. I want to add a 10 or I can say 11 if required. And then increment value is 2. How much I want the difference between the two numbers. So you can see 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. The table has been generated or the series has been generated now let's try to create one more table i can copy this code i still i am still seeing the table tool so i can go ahead and press new table inside that one and it will create one more table let me paste this and this one i'll call even underscore series and this time i can start with two or zero and i can end it at 10 instead of 11 or 12 and again the increment step of two so first argument start second argument where you want to stop and third argument is increment value and we got a series of even numbers so this is dex for you we have used the data analytics expression now time has come that we go ahead and do this in power query do it in the power query go to the home tab and inside the home tab you have transform data and inside that one again you will get transform data click on that and you will reach to power query let me bring in power query window to this screen inside the power query i can do this step by creating first of all a new blank query so inside the home tab of the power query we have new sources and inside the new sources we have a blank query let me add a blank query and let me call it as odd space series 
and I can rename it by right clicking and rename or double clicking or then after that right click and advanced editor and here I got a source now inside that source I'll use the function list dot numbers and inside the list dot number the start number the number which I want to start count how many times you want after this number how many times you want I say I want five times this is not the end number this is different from this one increment increment of two so I want five numbers starting from one with the increment of two this is what it means and I say okay this generates a li list actually this is still not a table please remember you have to use two table conversion from the transform menu in case you want to create it as a table so a list of odd numbers is getting generated and I can convert into a table by using two table by accepting the default option. Now I'm going to create another new query using again the new source under the home tab blank query double click and rename as even series right click advanced editor and again I'm going to use list dot numbers and here i'm going to say start with two again give me the five numbers and increment by two again and i'll use done now once i click on the done i'll get a list which i can convert to a table let me convert it into a table with the default options and as you can see i got a table with the even numbers so this is how you create a list or a series of odd and even number in power bi i have explained you both dex and power query options in this manner you can answer this question so go ahead and try that out thank you for taking time to watch this video your curiosity and quest for the knowledge are what's inspiring this series. If you have any question or topics you would like me to explore in this series, please let me know in the comments below. Your support is truly means the world to us. It's the reason we create and share these videos. If you have enjoyed this content and would like to see more, please consider liking sharing and commenting it helps us immensely until next time keep learning and stay connected thank you